Hello everybody and welcome to my daily weigh-in. So someone pointed out to me that I have only lost 2.6 pounds in the last month overall. So I want to say thank you to the person who actually sits down and watches my videos and actually knows that I've lost 2.6 pounds in the last month because I would not have been able to tell you that one. The same person is blaming that on carbs. So I just kind of wanted to explain to you guys that um, since I started YouTube, I have, this is actually maybe a mini confession, but I'm sure you guys all know this already. I have not washed my hair ever. Okay, that's a complete joke. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. Clearly I've washed my hair because who doesn't? Mm -hmm. Since I started YouTube, I have not been 100% on my diet. I have not at all. And if anything, I've had more days where I ate whatever the hell I wanted, when I wanted, more so than days I've had where I've counted calories. Um, I started YouTube in November, and for a long time before that, I want to say like five months, I don't know, I was, um... A mess. <laughs> I just got done losing 89 pounds and I kept gaining it back, gaining it back, gaining it back. I was just in a really, really, really bad place. And I wasn't doing anything about it. I'd lie to myself and say that I was, but I wasn't. What I'm doing now and showing you guys is 100% better than what I was doing. Um, so... I just want to say that I'm still not, you know, 100%. I'm sure you guys have seen that several times. My nose itches. Um, this person is constantly talking about carbs, and carbs to me mean nothing. That's just how it is. I don't mean to bring up carbs anymore, but I kind of just wanted to clarify that the reason why I'm only down 2.6 from the last two months is because... Um, I stopped counting calories a lot of the time. I want to say like 75% of the time I just didn't care. And I was eating whatever I wanted. And I was very honest about that. And you guys saw that in my vlogs or um, certain videos I made. I was very, very honest regarding that. So me only losing 2.6 has nothing to do with carbs. It's me not counting calories. I honestly just hate counting calories, but I gotta do it if I plan on losing weight. And I am losing weight now that I'm counting calories, and now that carbs have nothing to do with me like they never have before, so I think this person should divorce carbs and just marry calories because that's what I did and I seem to be doing a-okay now that I'm actually sticking with calories. and following through and doing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, my nose itches. I've decided that I'm not going to really plan a schedule for exercising. I'm kind of just going to wake up and ask myself, what do I want to do for exercising? Because I feel like that will be better for me because sometimes I feel like I want to walk. Sometimes I feel like I want to do the stairs or the elliptical or whatever. So today I wanted to do the DDR and that's what I did. And my goal was to burn 250 calories and this is how many calories I burnt. Even though burning that many calories is happening, it's still taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. I didn't know it would take me a half an hour or longer because of my weight, but I guess it just depends on how fast my heartbeat is beating, and I don't want to overdo it, like I said before. Um, I feel like today I was pretty grumpy. I was like the version of Grumpy Cat. <coughs> Not sure what that was. The version of Grumpy Cat today because, um... Crystal's heart beats faster than mine, just even sitting down. So she burns a lot more calories than me <clears throat> when we do the exact same thing. And um, it, it, it was kind of hard for me to accept. I know that sounds bad, but I was like, I'm bigger than you. I should be burning more calories. Because in a way, she's kind of like, like, 
well, not in a way, for sure she is my motivation. So I want to be like, okay, I want to push myself. I want to burn more calories in her because I feel like it's a good goal, you know, in a way. Like, I don't want to do it as like a competition at all. I just want to have like this, this goal in mind besides my 250 calories. But she burnt, um, I think like 80 more calories than me and we were doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. And her heart does beat faster than mine. So that has to be the reason why. Because she is a lot smaller than I am. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's just that's just how it's going to be. But one day I'm going to be able to push myself even harder and burn those calories even faster and burn even more calories. But as for now, I'll probably be burning around that many calories for, you know, a couple weeks. Okay, maybe less than that. But... We will just see how it goes. As of right now, I am in love with my Polly Bear. That's what I named it. <laughs> what? Am I not amusing you enough? The calories I ate yesterday was 1,800. 805 and my carbs were 192. And I do want to say my limit for carbs is 240 and if I go over that or stay under that I don't care. Don't give up. So yesterday I weighed in at let's go find the little thing. Okay so yesterday I weighed in at 354.4 and today I weighed in at 353.8 so that means I'm down 0.6 and in total, I have lost 66.2 big whopping pounds, so amazing, and to get to 320, which will be a 100 pound loss in total, I need to lose 33.8 pounds by my September 5th goal, so, um, I pretty much foresee this happening, I know I'm not going to be losing 0.6, 0.4 a pound every single day. I know it's not gonna happen. I know there will be days where I gain a few ounces for no apparent reason. So I am going to expect that and embrace it and accept it. And yeah, and I just am really happy with my progress so far. I have not made any bad choices or bad choices in my book. I know everyone has different opinions of bad choices and stuff like that, but Anyways, if you're on a weight loss journey, I hope you're doing fantastic, and if you're not, I know you can do this. I know it's so cliche to say, but if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. I am the freaking queen of struggling, overeating, binging, food addiction, just winning. I am the... Hallmark card for that, if that makes sense. Um, that's one of the reasons why I let my struggles be known so much on YouTube is because I get private messages and stuff like that saying how people struggle with food addiction and they struggle with this and that, but I'm, I'm motivating them and inspiring them and helping them and that just means the world to me. Um, I know not a lot of YouTubers show, you know, the hard part and the true honest part of a weight loss journey. I'm not just going to sit here and tell you I eat carrots all day and I'm losing weight because that isn't the case. It's very hard every single day to look at a bowl of candy and not touch it. Don't get me wrong, yesterday I had two different ice creams. I had a Weight Watcher, um, like, popsicle type of thing and then I had a... Little Edie's slow churned. Slow churned is a lot more, less calories and less fat. Like, it's amazing. And I had um, one after lunch for just like a little snack. And then I had one after dinner for a little snack. But I still stayed under my calories. And um, as of right now, my, my main trigger is the candy bowl. And as long as I don't touch it, as of right now, I think I'm okay because it's 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 really haunting me. But I want you guys to know that people give me this advice. They say take out the tr the main trigger in your diet, and you'll honestly see a difference. It's 
absolutely insane. Um, don't get me wrong, eating that ice cream, I wanted more. But I'm glad I'm putting myself in that position because I'm, I'm proving to myself that I am strong. I have the willpower, the strength, the strength is real and I'm going to conquer this food addiction and I'm going to tell you right now, I might be in a good spot right now, but don't get me wrong, within a few months, a few days, a few weeks, I don't know, I will be making a video of me crying because I messed up. A video of me admitting I just binged the whole house into a freaking hole. That makes no sense. But you guys get what I'm saying. Um, I have so many ups and downs and I'm here to show you guys that even if you have food addiction, you can still lose weight. And as hard as it is, it's, it's going to be okay. It really, really is. And I don't mean to be a cliche mess today, but I just want you to know that everything will be okay and you just got to fight for what you believe in. I know it's easier said than done. Trust me because oh, people tell me all the time, if you don't like, if, if a certain food makes you, you know, binge, don't eat it. It, it really isn't that easy. Um, but somewhere deep and deep, deep, deep down in your heart and in your soul, you're going to find the willpower to do what's right for you and you will succeed. I'm a fishy. Okay, I'm going to end my video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye.